Power Trading Hour with your host, David White. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. Now, David White. And welcome all to another excellent edition of the trade the Power Trading Hour, he said. And as always, we come to you at this time. The following takes place between 2 p.m. and 3 p.m. So what are we saying here today? Well, we've had quite the move both up uh, and down. Um, as far as I can tell right now, it looks to me like the option market makers and the others took this time to uh, to have the machines run the tables and get out of options early. Uh, that may be for a few reasons, but uh, you never look a gift horse in the mouth uh, in the stock market, and it makes perfect sense to see them kind of uh, do their dirty work in the shade of Mr. Powell talking. But that's certainly what I kind of look at now. Um, but we'll see how the day ends out here. But I just don't see that much out here. More than anything, you can run these markets like this in a bear market. But, uh, yeah, that's it. 877-927-6648. We'll see what else is going. We'll get some movement here in the market now. Everybody's wanting to go long once again. Okay. We'll get a little bit of this. I'm running my options numbers now, so maybe we'll have something at 2.30 when we get back. Anyway, uh, as we said, uh, we went delta neutral a day early, uh, at least in my opinion from looking at the options. That's what I think happened. Uh, they put that on the back of Powell talking. They got a market that was already fairly thin waiting for him to say something uh, and were able to run the tables both up and down. After the bell tonight, we've got Illumina, and tomorrow morning we got CVS, uh, Bungie, uh, PAG, we got Uber, Yum, and Under Armour. Let's go to the stocks that uh, were moving today already. Uh, and of course, the big loser of the day. <laughs> Uh, is, if I can get, come on, where is that chart thingy? Uh, doo -doo -doo, come on. Oh, there it is. Uh, probably the big one is uh, Bed Bath & Below. Uh, they're issuing more shares, but this had a wicked move yesterday. Uh, I was hearing very early in the morning, um, since this happened after the bell last night, that there would be a ton of, of the Robin Hood folks that were chasing this yesterday, that would be clean. Their accounts would be cleaned out today. Hit uh, 703 yesterday, and then of course, pretty much around three bucks today. Uh, and uh, that's how you clean out a uh, a uh, a uh, flaky stock. Get everybody going one way, and then take all the money the next. And, of course, uh, at the end of a market, uh, that's how it works. As I said, I'm pretty much on the side of uh, thinking that this is a uh, bearish market. But we shall see. Yeah, we've got, you know, we had a couple of down days. Everybody's going to think that they could need to buy now. But, uh, yeah, we'll see what the end of the day brings. Uh, anyway, as we go back to... Uh, the stocks that are actually moving. And hey, we're up 14 points. Come on. There you go. Uh, so anyway, uh, the uh, biggest loser out here, of course, was Beth, uh, Bed Bath and Below. Uh, you know, they've made a, in the old days, you just went bankrupt. But Sears and Kmart have told or shown the road uh, to going out of business over multiple years and how to clean everybody's pockets out when you're doing it uh, and making it legal at the same time. And uh, this will be one of the same things with them continuing to issue shares uh, all the way through their bankruptcy. On the winning side, on the winner, winner, chicken dinner uh, is Hertz. It hurts. 
It's Hertz Global back up to the previous high. We got some decent volume. Uh, of course, everybody's going to start traveling again. Uh, you're back up really to the previous high of October 28th of last fall. You had some decent volume. You're not holding that high, though. Uh, some other stocks, CLCTLH, uh, it is. I can't remember what this one is. CTLH, right? That's right, CTL, no, CTLT. Okay, you got to read your own handwriting. Did the coupons do them in? Uh, okay, you got to move here. You're just back up uh, to really the resistance level. Trying to remember what these guys do that those guys don't do. Develops manufactured solution for drugs, protein-based biologic cell and gene therapies. So they're a biotech. So you had the big gap up yesterday, a little bit more follow through today. Uh, and of course, we had some decent moves. Uh, they kind of got muted here today uh, later. Uh, but some of the bigger winners in the morning uh, were these uh, cruise ship stocks. They did have some nice pops and drops. They're back into the trading range uh, they already had. CL. This time of year, it's hard to see them actually get any better. Uh, these are stocks that tend to really run uh, in August uh, of the years. So uh, not a whole lot going on here. Okay, let's go to the other side. Uh, other uh, CHGG uh, is down 20%. This is Chegg. They're kind of like a uh, Best Buy-like stock. They've blown through the previous low. They've done it with volume. Let's take a look at Bed Bath and, uh, or what was it, Best Buy and below. Because I think they're the next. Um at least the I've gone into three around here over the last few weeks, and they have no customers, they have no employees to speak of, uh, and few customers, and those customers are pissed because <laughs> there's nobody there to help them. Uh, everything's hidden and locked up, and if you can get somebody to sell you something, it's a miracle. I had to go back and grab the guy out of the. Uh, out of the uh, tech department, out of the tech, he was putting stuff in a computer to have him pull out a power supply so I could buy it. Uh, so they're doing everything, um, but I think that whole part of the market is going to be incredibly rough. My guess is this thing's going to race back down uh, about to 75, maybe 74 bucks. 877 927 uh, to do What else do we have here? Okay. And we still have a little bit of aftershocks. Um, anyway, we'll be back in a minute. Currencies, commodities, and bond markets are as important as ever right now with how they're driving the volatility in equity markets across the globe, which is why it's a great time to try out Teddy Kegstat's Tiger Forex Report. Teddy Kegstat breaks down the Forex markets every Monday using his 30-plus years of experience as a trading veteran of futures, Forex, stocks, and options. Teddy releases his weekly Tiger Forex Report every Monday morning with coverage of all the major currency pairs, including the dollar index, the euro dollar, pound dollar, dollar Swiss, dollar yen as well as many more and he also has weekly coverage of the crude oil market and the 30-year t-bonds as they both influence forex markets tremendously when you sign up for the tiger forex report you also gain instant access to teddy's 60-minute webinar archive he just hosted forex strategies and fundamentals what is behind the tiger forex report for all the details and to start your 30-day tiger forex report subscription today visit the front page of tfnn.com tfnn educating investors
Are you grinding in the market, but seeing little to no return? Or are you a successful trader, simply looking to make your job a little easier? Learn to take the path of least resistance with David White's powerful trading newsletter. David White is an accomplished trader whose deep understanding of technology and the markets allows him to consistently find and share winning trades. Support and resistance define the ranges in which stocks trade. By understanding these trading ranges, David White is able to find the path of least resistance. David White's trading newsletter, The Path of Least Resistance, is delivered daily before the markets open to make every trading day an easy win. Visit TFNN.com today and subscribe to David White's Ultimate Trading Newsletter for $119 a month and try all of our newsletters risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee. Take the path of least resistance at TFNN, educating investors. Are you looking for a way to consistently add winning trades to your portfolio? Tom O'Brien is here to help. Tom O'Brien has been successfully trading markets for over 30 years. A frequent contributor to TD Ameritrade Network and CNBC, Tom O'Brien founded TFNN over 20 years ago to help educate investors just like you. Tom's daily market newsletter, Market Insights, is published every morning when the markets open to give you the competitive informational edge you need to succeed. These newsletters are packed full of Tom's advanced technical analysis and are geared to deliver comprehensive strategies for a successful portfolio. Get Tom O'Brien's newsletter, Market Insights, today and try all of our products and newsletters 30 days risk-free with our money-back guarantee at TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. at 1-877-927-6648 internationally at 727-873-7618. And as we get back, uh, a quick question to Tesla. Yeah, they're still shorting it. Um, uh, this thing's up here with lots of volume. Uh, everybody continues to short it. My guess is it is going to bounce through. It may not last long up there, but I certainly wouldn't be short. Uh, there are a lot of other stocks out there that probably look much better uh, for shorting than this one. Uh, are we going back down to the lows today? Um, I don't think so. The the uh, just looks like we're probably going to be stuck here in the trading range maybe for the rest of the day. We'll see what happens tomorrow. Uh, we've got a few earnings. We really don't get into something that's going to move the market, I think, until Thursday. So we may just have a few sideways days out here. But uh, this is a nutty market. You've got uh, uh, a thin market put together with huge uh, short sellers and fund uh, in the funds and uh, or hedge funds, and you've got huge longs in a lot of the ETFs uh, going head to head. But I think today kind of tells you that we should expect a lot of volatility uh, going into the uh, options expiration this time. Okay, uh, so we looked at that. What else did we want to look at? I wanted to look at some other stuff. Uh, I want to see what Apple did today because it was kind of selling off a little earlier Eh, just in here about half the volume I don't see anything in that let's go back to, uh, to, 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 to let's go back to uh, what is that uh, okay other ones we want to look at uh, didn't bring it up uh, art did I bring it up I think uh, this is the one I missed in the cruise ships uh, you have a pop higher with lots of volume I think they had uh, earnings out uh, 3.8 million shares on a gap down going back to May 6 a year ago and again we're pretty close to the point where these things tend to sell off through the summertime you got a nice pop today with 11.5 million shares so you did get through that but I think this is a lot of these stocks are just bouncing because there's so many people short very individual stocks and that is one of them uh, DuPont 
uh, is up about 6% today. It's breaking through with a lot of volume back into the March 29th, 2022 high. Uh, you got plenty of volume. You'd see it. Uh, 82, 84 is the February 18th, 2022 high. And you could get back into that. KKR. What we have here. Okay. Now you're testing the previous high. See how the volume comes in at the end of the day. You need 6.6 .6 million. Uh, you, you've got about 4 million now. Probably going to be a little light on that, but not horribly light. Okay, what else do we have out here? Let's get some other ones. Uh, we did check. Uh, BLNK. Now, this gap down, monster volume, looks like it's going to head back down to $9.85. Let's uh, take a look at their info. Where are they at? Uh, they're just south of Fort Lauderdale, almost Miami. Uh, Blink Charging Company. Yeah, okay. Blink Charging operates, provides electric vehicle charging equipment, networked EV charging services in the United States. I didn't read the news. I don't know if it was earnings or what, but pretty ugly, just on a chart basis. Uh, down uh, 8 million shares. Previous low is 1.5 uh, million shares. So looks to me like you're going down to $9.85. Uh, it may take a little while to get there, but um, they must have done something unclear at the moment. Okay, what else do we have out here? Uh, do, 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 do. Got that, got that, got that. Uh, do, 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 do. Oh, question on Pinterest. Pins. This is a very interesting one. It was down about 14% after hours um, yesterday. Um, and the what is it down now pins down yeah, almost six percent but it was kind of amazing um i've seen this twice now it worked with apple and that is they got everybody together to try to talk it all up uh when the earnings were poor um when this came out and it hammered down to 14 percent man were they all over trying to keep this thing up into the open this morning and even a little bit higher but you got the big sell-off on it uh you know you're you're back into what was sideways for a while but uh it's been a rare time where i've heard this much propaganda on cnbc and bloomberg at one time but uh there must have been a lot of people uh, maybe the entire street was thinking this was going higher and they were out telling everybody that this thing was turning lead into gold last night and it just you know generally you think long you think wrong uh, whether it's in poker or in the market and I would be that way 877-927-6648 and just hanging out here at the highs okay okay Okay, see. Okay, question on Disney. I haven't looked at this one for a while. Is, uh, I mean, the big problem with these companies, uh, the uh, theme parks are going to take care of themselves. Uh, it's just the entire Hollywood movie production folks are making a lot of stuff that no one wants to see. Um, and I don't see that changing. The one good thing is you have a very good low in uh, with the test of the November 9th low of $86 with the December 28th low of 84 So you do have some fairly good lows in out here. But at this point, you know, you gapped down a couple of days ago. Um, I'm going to guess this is in a trading range somewhere between 100 and 110 I know everybody's trying to talk this one up. Uh, it just doesn't make a lot of sense to me either. And most of the time when it doesn't make sense, I'm a little bit early, but a long time 
uh, right. And uh, I remember how much flack I said, not for saying you should short Roku, but for saying back when this thing was $490, I had no idea how they made any money. Well, the answer was that they weren't. And uh, you can uh, you can pretty much work the books for a little while, but eventually the truth will come out. It certainly has. In Roku, it's not worth nothing, but it was never worth uh, probably more than 50 bucks back then. Maybe it is worth 60 now. 877-927-664. It will be right back. To look at uh, UNG. If you want to take advantage of this sector, now is the time to subscribe to my gold report. The gold report is a comprehensive look at the metal sector as well as the markets that move gold, which is the currency and bond markets. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to lose. Every Monday morning, I publish the gold report with coverage of gold, silver, bonds, the XAU, HUI, GDX, as well as more than 30 different mining equities. To see for yourself the types of profitable trades that are recommended within the Gold Report, sign up now by visiting TFNN.com. Don't miss out on the next great gold trade. Sign up today. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. And we're back. I have a question about what's going on with UNG. Uh, I assume that question's on the short term. I don't really trade that much on the short term. I want long-term patterns or longer-term patterns uh, that are uh, probably going to extend out a week to two weeks because uh, that's where I figured out the most money is going to be if I'm going to trade. Uh, but certainly if I was looking at an interday uh, chart out here, you're back at the early morning highs out here after giving it pretty much all back. Now you're back up uh, 881 on UNG. There's something going on out there. And I think a uh, little bit of it uh, probably had to do, again, with uh, a lot of hedges coming on and off today. And that was probably more about 
the uh, uh, what is that? Uh, I don't think about the ETF, but uh, just on crude, it being up about four percent on the day. So you know we've had a lot of crude hit the market. You got to figure that the best uh, thing for a low price is low price, and we may have kind of hit that part where you know there's going to be spits and spurts of Russian oil with all those extra tankers uh, out on the ocean uh, hitting at different spots. But uh, I think you kind of have that now. You're up, what, 26 cents on the on UNG for the day. Uh, again, I'm, for a long-term pattern, I would only buy uh, natural gas probably in August. Uh, on a short-term basis, I mean very short-term, um, yeah, are you going to get these huge spikes out of this thing? But I would watch uh, crude now uh, when both natural gas and crude trade together. That's when you really want to look at it because normally uh, you, the big guys will be long uh, crude and be short natural gas against it. Because the more uh, crude you, uh, you make, of course, the more natural gas there is. And someone was talking about flaring it off today. So the more natural gas that's made, of course, the higher price uh, the, of crude, they're going to pump more gas. They're going to have more natural gas. Uh, so they're normally not uh, correlated together or positively correlated. They're inversely correlated so that you see a big move uh, higher on both of them. That's telling you something's really up. Yeah, trade inverse. 877-927-6648. How much time? We've got, we've got plenty of time here today. Okay, as we take a look. Eh, you know, just everybody, there's literally nothing that people will not want to buy right now. They're kind of uh, in a euphoric mood as far as I can tell. Every moment they think is the next low that they should buy. Uh, maybe I'm wrong here. I mean, we should have stuck at the highs. We should have stuck at the lows. So I think that there, we may be setting up for something else, which is what every trader hates, which is sideways. Uh, okay, other things going on. Okay. Okay, I'm trying to get through a couple of emails here. Hang on just a second, and we'll go back. Okay. Let's take a look at XLE. Okay. Tried to hit the highs twice. You did so on lighter volume each time. You've now pulled back into the lower part of the trading range. Yesterday you had 15, well, let's call it 16 million shares in the XLE. The may, last major low had 24. This looks to me like um, lower highs and higher lows at the moment. So don't see much else out here. Okay. Question about uh, electronic arts. Um, well, it's finally down. Unfortunately, you got way too much volume, uh, but you are back in where the lows sh should start to come out of the markets. And see, yeah, you could still test 108. 93. I think the big thing is uh, just how quiet the market is in games, mostly because of the high price of the uh, video uh, cards uh, that AMD and NVIDIA are selling. They may have killed the golden goose here uh, with, in uh, electronic gaming. It was a huge thing. Uh, the pandemic really hurt it because people couldn't play live. They were playing kind of in the background. That kind of took a little wind out of the sails. And now, of course, it's kind of like uh, when kids quit buying uh, dirt bikes. 
if they're not buying dirt bikes, they're probably not going and watch AMA motocross at the local stadiums. They're probably not, you know, doing a lot of stuff. Uh, you've got to have people invested in in the ecosystem uh, to keep feeding the beast. And I think uh, just the lack of being able to chase extremely expensive stuff uh, for many of the folks has meant that a lot of the folks on the lower end are just kind of giving up on it. But certainly fairly light volume down here at the lows. My guess is they will wake up eventually. Um but uh, you're going to really need AMD and Intel. Uh, I mean, excuse me. Well, Intel to a little bit of extent. Uh, AMD and NVIDIA sell 98% of the video cards uh, in the market. 2% is about Intel. They just started their big uh, production. Um, you know, you could, any close below this, Three by three line could set you up for a pullback to 65 bucks. And let's take a look at NVIDIA, NVDA. Get back up here. 220. Okay. NVIDIA looks a little better. No real sign quite yet that it's got problems. It's probably the better of the two companies right now at least narrowly focused. It's got uh, one thing that AMD doesn't, and that it's a huge uh, market in uh, machine learning. Uh, and, of course, that's everywhere these days. Uh, but they've done an incredibly good job at uh, going after that market and serving it um, at the very high end. And, of course, a lot of uh, people from uh, Oracle, IBM, and those kind of folks have come to NVIDIA on its business side and done a very good job you would you know you'd think nvidia is kind of a retail consumer company and that was right a few years ago but about 50 percent of its business now is big business selling to people like google and microsoft and those that need machine learning hardware uh we're going to the break here right now we're continuing to slowly move higher in the markets uh, which is kind of interesting. We're up 32 on the S&P cash. NASDAQ's up 1 point, well, let's call it 1.2%. Uh, again, everybody's sure that they're missing out. Um, I'm thinking just the opposite. The market's really kind of acting like it's a bear market. Uh, and that means as a bear, you're going to sit and sweat for a long time. Uh, oh, we'll be back in a moment. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Technology around us is changing every day. With so much happening, it can seem impossible to keep up with all the information. David White's investment newsletter, The Technology Insider, is designed to give you all the information you need to understand the technology that shapes today's markets and tomorrow's future. David White has made his living staying on the cutting edge of technology. His weekly newsletter will give you specific recommendations for value tech stocks, as well as entry prices, target prices, and stops to set for each trade. Dave delivers his weekly newsletters every Friday with updates throughout the week. You can get the Technology Insider at TFNN.com for only $37.50. Sign up for David's newsletter, The Technology Insider, and get an inside look at everything the technology sector has to offer. 
Try it risk-free today with our 30-day money-back guarantee. TFNN, educating investors. Are China A shares hot or not? If you trade China A shares, now may be time to take a closer look. Trade CHAU or CHAD, Directions Daily CSI 300 China A share bull and bear ETFs. China A shares in either direction. Visit directioninvestments.com today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866 476 7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. And I have a question here. What's what do I think is going on? It takes about a day to get through options ex, uh, options delta neutral, and I think they pushed it up. They pushed it down. Uh, pushed it up. We're probably going to have a, a few more of these kind of moves. Um, Option market makers at least tell when I started the show, kind of think the other way. We've got a ding. What's a ding? What's going on here with a ding? We've got Jeff Dave, I'm, in <laughs> Philly. I'm on hold. How I've been doing? waiting to ask you a question. Go ahead. Okay. So, yeah, it's very similar to what you're talking about. In fact, that's what inspired me to call. Uh, very often uh, on a chart, when uh, news comes out, you see a sweep up and a sweep down in like one second, maybe two seconds. I often see that, especially with U.S. news. Now, I always assumed that that was uh, algorithms um, that are hitting stops on either side and making money somehow. Well, I mean, I can guess how they make money. But anyway, that, that's what I think it is. But I was going to ask you, you probably have a much deeper understanding, uh, you know, what's going on. I thought I'd ask well, you, to, you know, if you could talk well, about it. Let's talk about today. You get into noon, uh, the markets get thin, everybody waits for what Powell's going to say, right? Well, it's not so much like what we well, saw I today mean, was in slow motion. <laughs> yeah. But what I see, you know, like say GDP comes out and well, you just see a big move up, a big move down, and it's all in less than uh, two seconds. Yeah, it's uh, – there is a lot of it. But what generally is some kind of condition, like you're waiting for the FOMC or waiting for the market to open, or generally there's something going on. And everybody pulls back their orders. Then all there's left is really a bunch of phony orders, right? They're quote stuffing. And those – as those – as the market starts moving and the bid uh, goes higher and lower, what happens is those just uh, get – withdrawn before they can get to them and it's just uh it's just a mirage of a market that is there so yeah they'll try to run as much as they can the machines are automatically doing it in a nanosecond but uh, just as fast as they can do that other machines are pulling those bids uh and ass out of the market so well, well if you're a trader and you got you know a resting order sitting there uh, you know, You're like a, a bracket order, waiting to see which way the market goes. You you get hit <laughs> for real. That's what I was going to say. I wouldn't ever leave an order sitting in anymore. It just doesn't make any sense. If you put a uh, a stop in in the market on an individual stock that didn't trading five or ten million shares a day, they're just going to go and get it because you're probably going to be the one or two real orders in all that phoniness. Yeah. Okay. That's why I, all the uh, stops in my mm -hmm. newsletter are always uh, stops of a close below or stop above. And if it looks like it's going to run through it, I'll just go ahead and issue, you know, something that says, you know, go ahead and take your money now. We know I know I'm wrong. Right. But most of the time, they're just going to run it real quick and then you'd be out the other side. 
the same thing. So it's very tough. Now, that's why I think a lot of people have moved to ETFs to try to get around that. But if you're in individual stocks, it's very tough because if you put in an order, one, they know where the order is. Two, they're just assuming there are 20 other people just like you that want to right. sell there and will have their finger on the button. So It happens you're, so you're, fast you don't have a prayer of like yeah, moving your yeah. stuff so, on the other side. That's why I don't try to trade five or ten minute uh, charts or anything. I kind of do dailies and have fairly wide opens. And, you know, today I think by the time we all get done, I haven't seen any change. I think it's going to be a gift for people that uh, bought puts at the uh, depths of what everybody thought was uh, the next giant rally of all time uh, led by Mr. Powell. I could be wrong. But uh, I think I'm okay. Um, I'm making money in my positions. They're still looking good. Um, and a lot of times, uh, especially uh, if you're on the short side, you've got to sweat a lot. And I think we're going to, you know, today's that day, but I don't see anything else. Option market makers are looking for, uh, you know, maybe 100 points lower, maybe 130 points lower in the S&P by uh, mm. expiration. So I think we've okay. got... Uh, you know, we've seen some of that weakness today. Now, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe Powell being a uh, folding like a $5 suitcase today uh, and saying everything is beautiful. You know, I think you have when he starts doing that, you have to worry that everything's going to be even worse. The market kind of always thinks that uh, double thinks and they think, well, he's he's uh, letting up now. There's something really bad coming. You know what I mean? <laughs> Yeah, market needs help, I try to right? overthink so it. Something's wrong. Yeah, he's worried about something. I don't know what it is, but I better get out. If he's worried and starting to talk dovish, then we've got some real problems. So right, right. I think I there's a little bit of that. But we'll see how the end of the day comes. But it certainly looks to me like they're really trying to get options roll over, and I'll know a lot more by the close. And maybe there'll be a little more of it in the morning. Uh, but... Nobody in the market maker world is very bullish. Uh, just everybody on TV I see is. So. Okay. Great. Well, okay. Uh, thank you very much. You good. 877-927-6648 if you want to give me a call. Uh, we'll go back to some other stuff. We've got a couple of minutes left. Uh, question about Microsoft uh, and them using the chat GBT stuff. Um, we talked. What was it? Uh, last Wednesday, maybe last Tuesday, about uh, the uh, heads, uh, the uh, founders of Google coming back uh, to try to go up against the uh, looming problem that they may have with Microsoft Bing. Um, again, we I think we talked maybe a month ago, maybe six weeks ago, about the two biggest investors were Microsoft. Uh, and uh, Elon Musk and uh, OpenAI, the people that made uh, Chat GDP. Not exactly sure what Musk is going to use it for, other than he bought Twitter, which kind of makes me think that's what it's going to get stuck in it fairly soon. Um, you got a light volume high of 34 million shares in a 42. Doesn't mean you can't get there, and that's another 6 million shares by the end of the day. Um, you've got some nice energy off this low, but um, I think they got. I think it's a little bit of the cart before the horse on this. It's going to take a great deal for them to integrate that and make it a product. So there's probably enough time for this thing uh, to pull back a little bit after everybody's all over it. But again, ever since the Fed day, everybody to assure that the market's going back up to 4,800 that I find on TV, it's all, it's over. We don't need to worry about inflation uh, or a recession. It's all over. Um, I see almost no uh, worry about lower prices uh, when it comes to VIX buying. So that makes me think that the big money is on that side since everybody is on the other side or most everybody is on the other side. Anyway, uh, what do we have for volume here today? Let's take a quick look. And we're doing about 8.4. So there wasn't a lot of volume either down or up today. It may take a little bit more for them to get uh, through options uh, delta tomorrow morning. We'll be back in a minute.
If you're looking for potential trading setups in the stock market, then Rocket Equities and Options Report is a newsletter you should try. Tommy O'Brien delivers options and equity trades when the markets present them using a combination of fundamentals and technicals. Sign up for Rocket Equities and Options Report today with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com, educating investors. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. Catch Tom O'Brien, professional trader and educator, founder of TFNN, also a special guest on CNBC. Tom will bisect and dissect the markets. The Tom O'Brien Show, next on TFNN. And we're back. Uh, had to ask me what I thought about the business and Roblox. Uh, they made a lot of simple games that people played, mostly kids or younger kids. They don't make the big games like uh, Electronic Arts or uh, some of the other ones out there. And the problem is those games, you get bored with them. It's like Tic Tac. You play it for a little while and, you know, when you're a kid and two weeks later, you don't want to ever play it again. Tic Tac Toe. Uh, and that is the problem with Robox. They needed to come up with new games, and it just never really was able to continue that kind of uh, game movement where they were the ones that the kids wanted to play. They're so weird and so strange that it wouldn't make logic to make games like that. Candy Crush, who would ever think that that was the big game, or Flappy Bird. You know, when you think about that, adults have to actually program that and spend money to to uh, get it out the door and roblox is a you know it is a kids kind of gaming company and you know the games were never particularly sophisticated and uh, you play them for a while and then you're done with them and that is always a problem on the low end of gaming you want uh, i've got games that i've got 500 hours into it um you know if you play it for 10 on Roblox, it's probably a long time on their games. So I'm just not a big fan of the business model 
so much as the chart, which doesn't look that much, <laughs> doesn't look that good either. Eight seven seven. Oh, we're done for the day out here. Let's take a quick look. Uh, up thirty seven. Is that right on the S and P cash? Yeah, up thirty seven on the S and P cash. Uh, Nasdaq's up one fifty six. Russell's up eh, nine. Well, no, about one tenth of a percent. So not much going on there. Of course, uh, the bigger thing is crude up four percent today. Gold, which was down, is up a little bit now. I'm starting to get interested in gold now. Sell when you can, not when you have to. We'll be back tomorrow. Building wealth trading in the stock market seems impossible.